In this video, I'm talking about using different hearing aid programs to help you hear better in a variety of different listening environments. Coming up. Hi guys, Cliff Olson, doctor of audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And on this channel, I cover a bunch of hearing related information to help make you a better informed consumer. So if you're into that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to click the bell to receive a notification every time I post a new video. Unless you sit on a couch all day watching television, you probably find yourself in a variety of different listening situations, all of which would require different program settings if you want to maximize your hearing performance. For instance, if you're in the comfort of your own home, it's probably relatively quiet, and you would probably do best in a program setting that allowed your hearing aid microphones to pick up sound from 360 degrees. Then if you and another individual go hop in your car to drive to a restaurant, you probably would want to be in a program setting that reduced the road noise that's in your car so you can better understand either the radio or that individual that you're driving with. Then when you walk into that restaurant and you sit down at your table, you want to be in a program that has the capability of reducing that background noise and orienting the microphones in the direction of the people that you want to hear at your table. Fortunately, the programs in today's modern hearing aids are better than ever at maximizing your hearing performance in a variety of different listening situations. The problem is, not a lot of individuals know which programs are actually active inside of their hearing aids, nor do they know how to switch into the correct program for whatever environment they're in. But this is where Phonak, today's video sponsor, makes things significantly easier for the users of their hearing aids with their AutoSense operating system. Just like the name suggests, AutoSense OS automatically identifies which listening environment that you're in and puts you into the correct program settings for that environment. Now Phonic has continued to improve and evolve their operating system as they identify more acoustic characteristics that they need to take into consideration in these changing environments. And the most recent version of AutoSense that they've released is AutoSense OS 3.0, which you can find in their Marvel hearing aids. This is a screenshot of a patient's usage statistics while wearing their Phonak Audeo M90 hearing aids. What you'll notice first is that there are three main sections. You have an automatic program section, an automatic program streaming section, and a streaming program section. Each of these sections has an overall usage time. For this patient, he spends approximately 82.8% .8 of his time in the automatic program settings. This is all of the time wearing hearing aids when they are not streaming audio from a separate Bluetooth device. Different technology levels have different amounts of AutoSense programs. The premium 90 level Phonak products have the most AutoSense programs at a total of seven. First is the Calm Situation program. This program setting is triggered when there's no background noise and tells the hearing aid to pick up sound from 360 degrees. Second is the Speech and Noise program. This is triggered when you enter a moderately noisy environment like a restaurant where the background noise exceeds approximately 60 decibels for 5 to 10 seconds. This triggers the hearing aids to go into settings to help reduce background noise and to focus on speech of those at your table by narrowing the microphone pickup range. Third is the speech and loud noise program. This is triggered when you enter louder environments like a busy restaurant where background noise exceeds approximately 65 decibels for five to 10 seconds. This triggers the hearing aids to switch into settings for maximum noise reduction and narrows up that microphone pickup range even more. Fourth is the speech and car program. This program is triggered by steady state, low frequency noise that you would expect to receive inside of a car. In this program, your hearing aids switch you into program settings that maximize speech understanding in the car by increasing noise reduction and lowering low frequency amplification. And based on this data logging, you can see that this individual spends a ton of time in his car. Fifth is comforted noise, which is triggered by lack of direct speech signals into your hearing aids. In this program, the hearing aids reduce overall amplification to make the noisy situations more comfortable since there is no one talking directly to you. Sixth is comfort in echo. This is triggered by reverberation in your environment. Reverberation occurs when multiple signals hit your hearing aid microphones at different intervals because the original speech signal is bouncing off the walls, the ceiling, the floor, and other hard surfaces. This program reduces overall amplification in these environments to reduce the negative impact of reverberation, which can be some of the most difficult listening situations for hearing aid wearers. And seventh is the music program. This program is triggered by the presence of music in your listening environment. 
the hearing aids can actually sense the harmonics of music and switch you into settings that reduce the amount of digital features that could distort music sound quality. Obviously, this individual is not much of a music connoisseur. He also spends a good deal of time streaming audio from his smartphone, 11.5% of the time to be precise. AutoSense OS 3.0 also has the capability of differentiating speech and music and puts you into the best audio settings for that type of media. The last thing is the amount of time spent streaming calls from his smartphone. As you can see, he spends a good deal of time on his phone as 5.7% of his total wear time is actually spent streaming phone calls. Based on the data logging for this particular individual, it is a good thing that he is in this level of technology because he definitely finds himself in a variety of different dynamic listening environments that his hearing aids can auto adjust to. Now seeing all of that data is great, but what does that actually mean for a hearing aid user? Well, it basically means that you can go from your house to your car, to a restaurant, to a family gathering, to whatever environment that you want to go to, and your hearing aids are going to identify the acoustics of that environment and put you into the best program settings for that particular environment. And you don't have to push any buttons, you don't have to go into your smartphone and tell it to put you into a different program. The hearing aids do this for you automatically. Not only does this simplify things for you, but it actually helps prevent you from picking the wrong manual program for the environment that you're in, creating a more seamless and better listening experience in nearly all situations. Automatic program classification systems like AutoSense have completely changed the way that hearing aid users will utilize manual programs. So instead of a hearing care professional having to program in a manual restaurant program at your first fitting, they can then spend more time focusing on these automatic program setting adjustments and only add in a manual program if you absolutely need it. So the next time you're discussing hearing aid features with your hearing care professional, make sure that you ask them if your hearing aids have automatic programs so you can spend less time adjusting those manual program push buttons and focus more of your energy on enjoying those special moments with family and friends. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you liked the video, please share it. If you want to see other videos just like this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, feel free to check out my website, drcliffaud.com.